back with another video. Today I am super excited to share my favorite dinner recipe. It is my creamy garlic Tuscan shrimp pasta. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, this recipe is amazing. Not only does it taste good, it is super simple to make. So, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of all the ingredients that you need, and then we will get started. So, I'm going to use penne pasta, but you can feel free to use whatever type of pasta that you like. Um, I have some baby spinach, some grape tomatoes, I have some fresh shrimp that has already been peeled and deveined. Um, I also seasoned it and marinated it for about two hours in the fridge. Some Parmesan cheese. The star of the show, basil seasoning. Heavy whipping cream. Minced garlic and olive oil. So that's it. Those are all of the ingredients that you need for this recipe. I will list everything in the description down below for you guys, so feel free to check it out if you want um, to get the recipe. But without further ado, let's get to cooking. The first thing I'm doing for tonight's dinner is boiling the pasta. That way the pasta can already be cooked and ready to go when I'm done with the sauce. Now I'm just slicing my grape tomatoes in half just because I like the way that it cooks down better with them sliced. But if you like them whole, then by all means keep them whole. Now I'm just adding some olive oil to a saucepan. And I'm going to go ahead and grill the shrimp on both sides. Once we are finished grilling the shrimp, I will go ahead and take them out of this saucepan and put them in a separate bowl off to the side until we're ready to add them back into our cream sauce. So in the same pan we cooked the shrimp in, we're going to go ahead and add a couple of spoonfuls of minced garlic, letting that brown for a little bit, um, giving it a good stir. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the sliced grape tomatoes to the pan. And I'm going to let that cook down a bit before I add my spinach. So now that the tomatoes have cooked down a bit, we'll go ahead and add our spinach. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. Give it a good stir and let the spinach also cook down a bit. Um, and I'm just gonna add little by little just so that we can get everything cooked evenly. Once all of the spinach is done cooking down, we'll go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream and get this sauce party started. All right, so I've gone ahead and added the heavy whipping cream, brought it to a bit of a boil, and now I am adding Parmesan cheese little by little, just making sure I get the right consistency for the cream sauce. It is really looking and smelling good, you guys. I wish you could smell it through the video. Oh my goodness. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more Parmesan cheese. Again, just working on the consistency for our sauce, and it's almost done all right so we're done adding parmesan we have the cream sauce the right consistency that we like it now I'm going ahead and adding the grilled shrimp that we cooked earlier 
into the cream sauce and just like giving it a big stir getting everything all mixed together i'm even going to add this um shrimp juice as well just for more flavor if you know you know <laughs> And now the star of the show, basil seasoning. And you guys, be heavy handed. Don't be stingy with your basil seasoning. This literally makes the pasta. Oh my goodness, you can see I added so much basil seasoning. And I know you may think, oh my gosh, that's so much. It's not, I promise you. It just makes your pasta extra amazing. And yeah, trust me on this guys. <laughs> So if you're totally extra like me, you can also go in and add some slap your mama or whatever type of like seasonal that you have along with some cayenne pepper for an extra kick. But again, that's only if you're extra like me. <laughs> All right, so now that everything is all done, we're going to go ahead and mix our cream sauce with our noodles. This is optional. If you like, you could just keep them separate and serve as is. But for me and my family, we like it all mixed together. And look at this, you guys. So creamy, so good. And as always, this pasta was a hit tonight. So that's it for this video you guys i truly hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments below if you tried this recipe out and how you like it also let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see more cook with me's on my channel i would love to share my recipes with you guys but as always i will see you guys in my next video bye